I just wanted to say congratulations and thank you so much for being here today. And um, you are definitely a beacon of light for uh, any of the programs that we do uh, that we use to invest in people. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Representative Sanderson. Thank you, and I agree with Senator Craven. I mean, the program worked for you just as intended to give you a a ladder to build yourself up and climb out of the position that you were in. So now you are an instant successful adult. And lest you think I'm the exception to the rule, as I said, this program has demonstrated success. Understood. But my question here is. You, you did hear testimony saying that extending the program beyond the 12 months puts us in a position of being fined federally for not being in compliance with federal law, correct? Well, I did hear that testimony, and there are others who will speak after me who can uh, talk about work participation rates. Um, it's my understanding. Uh, at least at the time that I was in the past program, that there was a cap on enrollment in that program. And so I would suspect, not knowing the numbers, that the, uh, that the actual impact of this program is minimal in comparison to other priorities. Well, <coughs> sanctions of $13 million. Right, but that's, I, I, I don't mean to argue, but I don't believe that's all attributable to the past program. And I think that there are other ways of addressing the problem. Yes, Senator. I, I want to thank you, Heidi, for coming to and being such a strong advocate. I, in my work, I've worked with a number of <coughs> parents, young parents who particularly have gone through the past program. Um, many of them are working in public schools, actually, they become public school teachers. Um, so I'm just wondering if you could speak a little bit about have a question. What are the kinds of things you and your peers decided to do with your lives? Like, you know, your you well, uh, straight out of uh, college, I worked for a nonprofit, um, a local nonprofit known as Day One. I worked uh, for uh, the Mainly Parents program, providing for that parenting education support. I did some uh, quality assistance, insurance, uh, reporting for contracts, um, program coordination, and then I was inspired to go to law school because I saw that um, lawyers tended to have uh, a real impact on people's lives. And uh, so, uh, but my peers, a lot of my peers um, are serving in social services, helping people like <coughs> ourselves. Uh, uh, I can't speak to, you know, where everyone has gone in life, but, um, but, but the people that I've stayed connected with over these years are, are fulfilling real needs for main communities. Thank you. Further questions? Yes, Representative Malik. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Ms. Hawkins. Congratulations. Um, your concern, as I understand it, is specifically with the past program. Is that correct? Well, I'm concerned about anything that affects low-income families negatively, and uh, so I'm here to speak specifically to this issue, but please don't um, interpret my uh, discussion of this sole issue as an agreement with any kind of policy that would hurt low-income families in Maine. Thank you. No further questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let me uh, just intervene a little bit. Are there people here who um, either, uh, because of um, energy constraints, uh, need to testify or who need to leave in order to get back to <coughs> a distant place? No, I guess not. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I would raise my hand because I have